Hello, and welcome to my channel once again. Okay, right now I want to talk about something that is, I feel, relatively important, um, and actually can be very important if you don't even know what this is. Um, vitamin D2 and D3. These are very, very important, and most people are not getting enough of them. And vitamin D2 and D3, you want to get both. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to explain to you the importance of these. Vitamin D3, you can get from the sun. Despite what you've heard about going out in the sun, that it's bad for you, and you know, you're going to get skin cancer, you know, the whole nine yards, you need to wear sunblock. Um, <laughs> so, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of sun is perfectly fine. If you're going to go there and sit there and bake and put baby oil on yourself or any of that nonsense, you're, you're going to have problems. Um, skin block soaks in your skin and, you know, they say it prevents cancer, but some studies say it can cause cancer because what you put on your skin will seep into your body. So, you want to get the sun. If you can go out 20, 30 minutes a day, that's awesome. Um, even 10, 15 minutes a day is going to be perfectly fine, you know, three times a week. Um, the next thing is mushrooms. Organic mushrooms. These are white mushrooms. These have vitamin D. Now, these I particularly like. Um, there are other mushrooms, but I like the, just the plain white mushrooms. They're great for your immune system. Um, and if you like cheese, cheese also has vitamin D. So these are pretty much the limited sources you're going to get. Um, unless, you know, somebody's adding vitamin D. You know, you can get processed foods. You know, the Franken foods have supposedly vitamin D added to some of them. Um, I really don't know why you'd want to do that. I mean, you know, maybe if you take the flu shot and you you put it into it, it's gonna gonna help too. You know, maybe maybe we maybe we need that. You know, maybe maybe that's gonna give us some extra vitamins, mercury, and you know, aluminum and some awesome toxins that can really help. You know, to get inside of our body. But uh, really, you, you you need to get natural foods. Mushrooms are very, very good, and they're good for you. You can lightly steam them. Try not to cook them too much. I like them raw because what happens is you're going to take those nutrients out that you want to get in your body, okay? So these are very important. Aged cheese. I do Swiss cheese, 150 days um, where it's aged cheese. It's very good. There you go. There's another part. So you're going to encounter both vitamin D2 and D3. This is important. You want them both. Okay? Now, let me explain to you what vitamin D2 and D3 do. Um, they go hand in hand with iodine. And now, if you're a woman, this is going to help, obviously, in the, in the, you know, the breast tissue and help, you know, again, that C word, cancer, help to prevent cancer. Men works in the, you know, their genital area and you need to have vitamin, uh, well, you want to get both vitamin D2 and D3, but vitamin D hand in hand goes with iodine. These are very, very important. Iodine comes in um, spirulina, I personally like, um, because those are in, usually made in a lab. I know it sounds like it's technical and it's, you know, going to be a GMO food, but it's not. They're typically grown that way. You don't typically get the algae from the sea. Um, those have a lot of iodine. Um, they're, they're great sources. Um, you know, seaweed is another part, but you just got to be careful with Fukushima right now. You know, the water is glowing, so you want to be careful with that. Um, but again, vitamin D2, D3, iodine, okay? And we want to lower our estrogen. I'll talk about that in another video. We don't want to have too high amounts of that. Um, you know, that's, that's going to be a problem, but at least get the D2, D3, the iodine down. Let's, you know, help with our, you know, thyroids. Help, you know, with other parts of our body to, you know, keep, you know, keep it flowing the way it should. Um, we don't want to get into getting too many unnatural things in our body. We're already getting things from the environment. We're getting things, you know, now from Fukushima that water is just, you know, 
coming all the way from Japan out to, to the West Coast. Um, and it's just, it, it's, it's getting to the point where we need to just take initiative and get things done ourselves. It's, it's you know, up to you and it's up to people like me and other people to bring this information to you because you're not getting it. Um, people do not know about these things. It's taken me years to learn these things. Um, you know, anybody can write a prescription and give you 20 different pills and write it instead of giving you a prescription for mushrooms or the sun, you know, you can take a supplement if you want to. I don't believe in vitamin supplements unless it's going to help you get rid of pathogens and other bacteria and viruses. I don't believe in supplements. Um, vitamin supplements, there's not enough international units in them right now. Um, you know, if you're deficient in a vitamin, eat food. Get the right food. Do not take a supplement for a vitamin. It's not necessary. Most of the vitamins are watered down anyways. Fish oil. They use vegetable oil. Sounds tasty, doesn't it? Vegetable oil is not good for you. you know, that's what you want to stay away from. And no vegetable oil is good. Um, you know, canola oil is genetically modified, you know, over 90% of the time. I was in the grocery store today when I was buying the mushrooms and they say, you know, butter with canola oil. Great. Just so tasty. Genetically modified. You know, one of, you know, some of them I think even might even say corn oil. There's no oil on a corn. Corns don't have oil. They are genetically modified. They produce their own pesticide. Um, the bugs won't eat it. Um, but a lot of other people are eating it. So, again, making a point, you want to get vitamin D2, D3 naturally. Okay? Take these tips. Use them. Incorporate vitamin D2, D3. Make sure you get your iodine um, because, you know, it needs its sibling. They work hand in hand. If you don't get enough iodine, number one, it's going to affect your thyroid. Number two, you need it to work with the vitamin D in order to help other functions in the body and you need it, um, you know, you need these things. So if you're going to, you know, eat processed foods and you think you're getting your vitamin D, you're absolutely not. You're not getting any of these things. All you're doing is wasting your time, money, and you're polluting your body. So I don't care what processed food it is. It comes in a box. Don't eat it. Every now and then we want little little snacks. Make sure they're um, verified by the GMO project, GMO free, make sure they're organic and, and um, make sure they are not polluted and you know those are at least won't harm you as much. Spirulina, I love those snacks if you can find those. There are companies online they you know put them with other sprouted ingredients. Remember that sprouted. Sprouted are very good. If sprouted ingredients were not good the pharmaceutical company wouldn't have tried to patent it and they did for a while. To a judge rule, it was unconstitutional. So, I should just go to show you how good sprouted is. Sprouted. So, anything sprouted, incorporate that in your diet. Use these tips with the um, vitamin D2 and D3. Thank you.